start with this international phonetic alphabet. Okay, what is that? What is the international phonetic alphabet? I have a dictionary here. It's an English Spanish dictionary. Now, one thing that you guys should know is that English is not phonetic. It's not phonetic. What does that mean? It means that in many cases or many times, um, we have sound like we have. Um, so here is a good example. Okay, English is not phonetic, which means that you can't always predict how to pronounce a word, okay? Most of you, I'm sure, know that we have here, this is the word city, city, and the word cat, cat, right? So we've got the same letter with different pronunciations. Now, for many of you, this is probably very, very easy, right? Because um, you know these words, you know, and, and actually, um, this happens in other languages as well. It just happens a lot more in English, okay? So let's look at this. If I were to write this using the International Phonetic Alphabet, this is how I would write it. The sound for this is an S. We have this I, this short I sound. Now, we've got a T here, but the pronunciation of it, at least in American English, is city, city. It's a D sound, right? Okay, city, city, all right? Now, if I put that final sound on there, it's the E sound, E, and we write that sound like this, using an I and a Y. Okay, so if you go and look in a dictionary here, so any, you know, choose any entry in the dictionary and look at the word. So here is a word, nuclear, nuclear, okay? If you look just after it, you guys, just after it are these things like this with these lines, okay? And it tells you the pronunciation of it. So, and it uses this IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, okay? So that, it's a really good thing to practice and to get to know those symbols. Many times it's really easy, you know, to figure out what the symbols are, but some of them aren't as obvious. And so it really does make sense to practice that, okay? So here's an example of the spelling. So keeping up, so this is the spelling, you guys. You can see the difference here versus the pronunciation, okay? Does that make sense? It's the spelling versus the sounds or the pronunciation. So city is how we write that using the IPA, okay? Let's do cat. And this is what is, you know, this is a nice, let's see, cat, okay? K, A, T. Now this is like, you know, there's no letter in English that is like this. It's not, there's nothing like that. This is kind of a combination of these two sounds. And I believe that's where that symbol has originated. So the a, a and e, a and e together is its own sound in English. A, cat, okay, cat. Now,